Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In the last video, we implemented this song adapter class here so that we could um, see our songs in our recycler view. And in this video, we actually want to implement the other adapter that we need for our project because we need two adapters actually. On the one hand, we need the song adapter to display our songs in a list. And then we also have a view pager two in our project. So that will be uh, this swipe view, which only contains a text view um, with the current song title, just the way Spotify has it as well. And if you're a little bit familiar with view pager two, then you know that it also takes recycler view adapter. And this video will actually be about how we can um, write the second adapter in a in an optimal way because this adapter will be very very similar to this song adapter but not the same because it has a different layout but we will also have a list of song items we will also have that list differ that differ callback um a lot of stuff here is actually very similar but i think that many people especially beginners um, wouldn't see this opportunity of saving a lot of code here um, because they're not that familiar with object orientation in programming. And because this is a very important topic here to just see these opportunities of saving code, of minimizing boilerplate code, I just wanted to give this topic its own video because you should really understand this topic because what we will do is we will write um, an abstract base adapter class kind of that just defines the, the default behavior every adapter in our project should have. So both of our adapters actually. And then we will have two adapters that inherit from that base adapter. So on the one hand, our song adapter, and we will have a swipe song adapter. And these two adapters will just inherit from this base adapter and that will just give them all the properties, functions, um, variables that our base adapter has. And if we want to change something, then we can do that individually for each adapter. So we can set an individual layout for those. So let's actually jump right into that and go to our adapters package, create a new Kotlin follow class called base song adapter and that will be a class of course this will be an abstract class so there won't be any recycler view that just uses a base song adapter instead we only use this class to be inherited from and now we need to think about in which ways do our two adapters differ well the only real difference between those two is that they use a different layout so what we'll do here in the constructor of this base song adapter is we will just have a private val um, layout ID that we pass. So that will be an integer. So when we inherit from that base song adapter, we can just pass the layout ID we want to inflate the adapter's layout with. And for the content of this class, we can actually just go to our song adapter and copy everything. Or actually, we can even copy this um, recycler view adapter here we inherit from. Just copy everything here. Control C, go back to base song adapter and just paste what we copied here. And yes, we will get a bunch of errors here. That is fine. Actually, not that many, but um, that is fine. We will fix that now. Uh, then the first step is we want to replace this song adapter here with base song adapter because oops now we are inside of that base song adapter class and this view holder will actually be the same here we will just have a song view holder um the different callback will be the same because um both of our actual adapters our song adapter and our swipe song adapter will contain a list of song objects so that is fine um this list differ shouldn't actually be instantiated here, but you can see we get a little warning here 
leaking this in constructor of non-final class base song adapter. Well, what does that mean? Um, we refer with this to this base song adapter here. And that usually works, but this can really lead to some problems because this is a global variable here that differ and we immediately instantiate that. And it can be that if we have, um, if we inherit now from this class in our song adapter, that this list differ is actually created before our actual song adapter. So before the actual adapter is constructed, we get a reference to this. And this can really lead to some problems, especially if we use multi-threading in our app. And yes, we do that even here with that async list differ. So that is definitely nothing we want to do here. But we still need such a list differ in both of our adapters. So what do we do here? We just make this a late in advar um, differ, which is of type async list differ of type song. So this way, we still declare that list differ here. We can even make this an abstract var that is actually cleaner so that we have to implement this list differ in both of our sub classes. And then we can even make this protected because we only need access to that differ in our base song adapter and in both of our sub classes, not from the outside. Then this songs list is actually can stay the same because it is public. We need to access that from the outside to just set the list of songs to our um, list differ. So that's fine. Um, on create view holder, we can override that here. But instead of inflating the layout with our list item, we want to pass that layout ID. So, so we can basically pass the layout ID we want to inflate this adapter with. Then next, we have on bind view holder. We want to completely remove that function because that is the only real function that differs in both of our adapters because those have different layout files and we want to set um, the data accordingly. So that's what we are going to do in the song adapter and in the swipe song adapter. And then we still have that on item click listener here, which we should make protected because we want to access that in our subclasses. So make that protected. We get a little error here um, because there is a little function signature conflict basically. So all we need to do here is we need to rename this function. Let's just call this set item click listener. Um, and then that's actually fine. Get item count should still return songs.size. So that is fine. We can even leave that the way it is. So that's it for the song, the base song adapter here. You can see that is very similar to the song adapter we implemented in the last video. But what we can do now is, and what really saves this, um, this big amount of code here is, let's just remove this here. So the on click listener and get item count. Then we will leave on my view holder because we still want to um, set our views accordingly. That is very specific to the song adapter. And we will just remove uh, the rest here. So all of that. And now we want to inherit from base song adapter instead, which will take the layout ID we want to use here for this song adapter, which is our layout dot uh, list item. So that is actually everything and not everything we need to do. You can see we still need to um, implement this list differ, which is called differ. So just press enter here. And this can actually be a val here. Let's make this a val. Go back to our base song adapter and also make this a val. We don't need to change that. So we can remove the, the setter and getter actually and all that stuff and just set this to new async list differ. Here we can now pass this because this is not an abstract class and nothing inherits from that song adapter. And we pass the differ. Um, callback is that private? Let's take a look in base song adapter. Yes, we made this difficult callback private. You can see so 
we don't have access to that in our song adapter. So let's just make this protected instead. And then the error is gone. And you can see that is now our song adapter. That is so much cleaner. And especially because we have two adapters that are so similar, we will save so much code because our swipe song adapter will have a similar amount of code. So let's actually create that. We can simply copy our song adapter for that, paste it, call that now swipe song adapter, press enter. Uh, this adapter won't need a glide instance. We don't need to load any images, so we can completely remove uh, the constructor here. That list differ will stay the same, just on my view holder will change. So what we'll do here is we'll still get a reference to our current song. We'll still have this apply block, but um, yeah, we'll actually still have this on click listener here, but we will remove these text views here and I'll press Control Alt plus O to rearrange the imports here. So because we want to re-import the, the corresponding layout file actually, so this doesn't lead to errors here. First of all, I just want to get the text. We want to set to the text view actually that displays our song and the subtitle. So val text is equal to song.title. Then we make a little minus and we write song.subtitle. And then we can use TV primary this time from swipe item XML dot text is equal to text. And that is it for both of our adapters. So you can see how much code we saved. If we wouldn't have that base song adapter class, then we would have the same amount of code for both of our adapters. And especially if you have like, imagine you have 10 adapters that are all very similar, then you would have 10 times this amount of code. And you definitely don't want that with our version here. You have, you can even, yeah, 10 adapters is really a lot, but this wouldn't produce much um, code here. So I really recommend you to um, practice recognizing when you can use base classes. So this doesn't only apply to adapters here, this applies to everything in programming. Every time you have two classes that have a similar purpose, um, but they are slightly different, then you can use these base classes. And that's very often the case with fragments, with activities, with view models, um, all that stuff. And I just want to show a little bit here in this video how you can on the one hand recognize that and on the other hand how easy it is actually to um, create such a base class. So I hope this concept got clear to you. If so, please let me know in the comments, like this video and also make sure to subscribe to my channel of course if you haven't already so you don't miss regular Android content every second day. I wish you an awesome day and I hope I'll see you in the next video again. Bye bye.